Hi, hi, I'm here. I'm going to do a retest of that last test that I just did, uh, the one that's suggested by the Lion's Den 72, where he suggested maybe I try it with a wire pot stand instead of the cross pieces because this seems to act like a heat sink. i got to work quick here. My water's going below 60. I have, I'm going to, what I have to do now is I just propped it up with a couple of these uh, gambling dollars. So now it brings it up to within a half inch from the from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot. Let me add one tablespoon of alcohol to the outer burner, like so. I think this has to be played around with too, a little bit of how much goes on the outside and how much goes on the inside. Let's put the pot stand on. Oops. Darn these new matches. Okay, that's going. I have four cups of water setting at 59 degrees. And let's see where this goes. now three minutes into the test. I think you can see how well the uh, flames are going up the side of the pot. This is a little bit different than last time. I wonder if this would work better with a wider pot. There we have 210, 211, Come on. Two eleven. Two twelve in ten minutes fifteen seconds. Okay, that was four cups of water starting at fifty nine degrees, came to a boil in ten minutes fifteen seconds. The simmer uh, started, that's where it's the inside burner, the inside burner only. Started at about 6 minutes 4 seconds. Let's let this go and see how long it takes for run out. Okay, we're going, going, let's say gone at 1655. Okay, this is an interesting burner. All right, this time what I did was I shortened it up, I lifted the burner up so that there was only about a half of an inch between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot. With And then it was one fluid ounce of methanol in the inner burner and one tablespoon on the outside, in the outside burner, just like it said in the instructions. They're saying that one fluid ounce of fuel uh, should bring a quart of water to a boil in six and a half to nine and a half minutes. That depends on the wind. But uh, they're saying here, place a minimum of a third of an ounce, one tablespoon in the outer burner. What happens, though, is when that stuff on the outside burner burns out, this burner is basically just a simmer. So it went to the simmer mode at six minutes, well, a little bit hotter than simmer mode, because then it took, what, about four minutes to get up to 212. I guess if you use this burner a lot, you can finagle the stuff around. Maybe uh, two tablespoons inside and two tablespoons outside maybe would get you to the boil faster. I don't know. Great little stove if you want to do a lot of simmering. I think I showed you, hopefully, I have a uh, second camera shot where uh, the last camera, sh t camera two shot the flame is really small for like two minutes. So 
it's great if you're simmering stuff, but not so hot. I don't mean that as a pun, but not so hot if you want boiling water and not worrying about the simmer. But I guess you just play around with the inside. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I should do that. Play around with how much I put in each one to try to get it to boil faster because we want hot water. We don't necessarily want a quart of water to simmer. We want to get a quart of water of hot water. So I thank the Lion's Den 72 for asking about this, suggesting it. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.